and welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this video, I want to show you how to make a scatter plot. So these are really great types of plots uh, that we can use to help see relationships in our data. To be a little bit more specific, in a scatter plot, we use these to show a relationship between two variables. Now, usually a symbol, usually a dot, is used to show an individual uh, pair of data. Let's look at uh, some other terms that are also uh, used when describing these scatter plots. We'll take the data and uh, take both of our variables and represent them along both of these axes here. On the bottom one, we call this our x-axis. This is where we'll uh, display our independent variable. Along the other line, our y-axis, we'll display the second variable. We'll call this our dependent variable. Now you might be curious, like, how on earth do we know which one's the dependent variable? How do we know which one is the independent variable? Well, think of it this way. Uh, the dependent variable will change as a result of what the independent variable is doing. And when we get to my example, you'll, you'll probably be able to more clearly see which one is depending on the other one's value. All right, let's give it a try. So we want to create a scatter plot for the following data. And this chart or, or table here just represents the hours of studying and a particular exam score that some students had. So which one of these would depend on the other one? Well, we would think that whatever exam score they got probably depended on the hours of study. So we will say that the hours of study are independent and the exam scores are dependent. There we go. Now it's also important to uh, mark out a scale so we can put all of these data values in here. And looking at the hours of study, it looks like uh, somewhere between zero and 10 hours is probably good. So let's mark off uh, 10 little tick marks. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oops, got an extra one. Ten. All right, along the other side, this is where our exam scores will go. Uh, let's just do zero to a hundred. So ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. Okay, looks good. Now the way this works is we want to put a data point at the intersection of hours and scores so that that one point represents a pair of data. Let's start off with the first one. So we want to put two, uh, two hours of studying and a score of 53. So we'll first find the hours of studying, there's our two, and we'll put a dot uh, where it intersects 53. So just a little bit above the value of 53. Okay, not bad. Let's do this again. So we got four and a half for 35. So four and a half, halfway between up to 10, 20, 30, and a half. Not bad, okay? Up to five, five needs to go all the way up to 91. So way up here. Let's keep going. Uh, we also have five, which is at 72. Let's see, so 50, uh, 60, 72. Notice how we get two values of both for five, and that's okay. Sometimes that can happen with these scattered. Let's see, six, we need a dot at 60. Three, we need one at 62. Let's see, 10, over here, we need one at 85. There's 50. 60, 70, 80, halfway, 85. Let's see, nine and a half, so halfway between these two. This one's going up to 78. 
So 50, 60, 70, almost 80, but not quite. Let's see, one more. Eight. Oh, they almost got a perfect score. 99, way near here at the top. So the advantage of having something like a, a scatter uh, plot to see all of your data points is you can start to see if there's possibly relationships among these two different variables. And you know, if I was looking at this and if it was you know real data, uh, you know, I might expect that maybe exam scores uh, are you know really have a strong relationship with the hours of studying. Maybe the more we study, the higher our scores are. Now, if this is our data, then, you know, actually looking at it, maybe I'm not convinced that these two things are really related because, uh, you know, the people who are studying a lot aren't really scoring a whole lot better than some people who only score a little bit. They're still actually scoring pretty good. Uh, but it's a nice visual way that we can see those relationships uh, and get a sense of what is happening between those two variables. All right. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit mysecretmathtutor.com.